The DRC's President Joseph Kabila has wrapped up his state visit. Kabila left the country early on Wednesday after holding talks with Tanzanian President John Magufuli. The meetings are focused on strengthening economic ties between the two countries, but as Dan Ashby reports, the deals have been overshadowed by the news that Kabila will not step down when his term ends in December. Well, Tanzania wants to become the exporting hub of East Africa and DRC wants to export its minerals at the cheapest possible cost. Uh, so the two presidents came up with a number of agreements which are a benefit to both countries. President Magafuli promised that the port here would be cheaper and more efficient to use and he also said that DRC could use a new planned pipeline through Tanzania to funnel uh, its oil. Uh, this is of course a boost to President Joseph Kabila but it comes at a time when there is major instability back at home. Now on Tuesday, President Kabila didn't tell a room full of journalists whether he was going to stand in the election, uh, next election, but uh, we already know the Electoral Commission back in DRC has postponed the election until December 2018, and opposition parties there say that President Kabila is using delaying tactics to cling to power. Now, President Kabila says that uh, the country needs more time to prepare for the election. Uh, as for President Magafuli, he shied away from criticising Kabila, uh, but he said that there were still millions more voters who needed to be registered. Uh, but international pressure is piling on. The United States says that the DRC election should be held next year. They've already imposed a number of sanctions on different DRC officials, and France says it could follow suit. Dan Ashby, CCTV in Tanzania.